Hello, I'm Maxime Dumais, the owner of No Science Brewery. And uh, the, the brewery started in uh, 2016, uh, and I'm alone for all the works. It's a very small and traditional and artisanal brewery. And here we are at Brew Day, and what are you brewing? It's one uh, of your first beers, and it may be famous. I brewed uh, uh, a very good black beer uh, from Brussels. It's uh, A.V. Potter. It's a, a traditional potter uh, with a cacao smell and a coffee taste and just 6% of alcohol. And I call them E.V. because you, you, you drink a, a, a little beer, but you think it's a very big stout. And how much do you brew, uh, say, for this today? How much do you brew in the uh, uh, 800 liter. 800, 800 liter, yeah. And, and how much uh, do you brew every year? Every year, uh, about, uh, 400 uh, hectoliter per year. Right. It's a very small production. And when you started, I mean, it was just the start of the craft movement here in Brussels. You were among but the I, I work uh, six years in uh, Mudder Lambic in Brussels, and I, I was born in Chimay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, 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 I never learned brewery. Uh, I, 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 I brew the beer in my kitchen and uh, I, 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 I give the beer and my clients in the Moudre Lambic and uh, he, he, he like that. And I think, well, I create a little brewery for a little production just for the Moudre Lambic. But we are in Brussels and I need to grow up for opening in Brussels. And uh, was this your first place that you moved yeah. into the green? Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing space. Yes, I was the first uh, when uh, in two, uh, 2016 uh, uh, I, I was alone here. It's an empty, empty space. And suddenly you have in Stormlings nearby yeah. and the source. In La Seine, La Source. Yeah, so it's coming uh, or the here. <laughs> because it's uh, uh, a, a cheap place in yeah. Brussels. It's very expensive to opening in the center of Brussels. And uh, 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 all here was handmade and with a, uh, a cheap... Uh, so really you made all this equipment, uh, you got it second hand or you had investors or you didn't... No, no, I, I brew in my kitchen. I give the beer at the uh, bar owners. He liked that and he gave me the money for opening here. Oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a, a crowdfunding, but it's the same thing. Yeah. He, 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 he gave me the money for, for care. Because at 30, uh, at 40, uh, the bank uh, was empty. <laughs> I need, uh, 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 I brew uh, 1,400 liters. I give the, the beer and he gave me the money for opening. And how many employees do you have now? Now, just me. Yeah, just me and a uh, and, uh, student. Okay, and yeah. a student. Yeah. So one man operation. Do you, do you find the support from other brewers helps? Or? Uh, a little with uh, Enstumelings yeah. because of the proximity. But, but uh, no, uh, it's uh, just friends. And, uh, and I don't like uh, publicity. I don't like uh, crowdfunding. And uh, it's the, the beer give the name of the brewery. And you've expanded to how many uh, uh, different beers now? Uh, different, uh, how many beer? Yeah. Uh, ten. Okay. And, and what's your philosophy? What kind of beers do you like? To but I, I, <coughs> when I work in the Moudre Lambic, I, I, I uh, uh, discover uh, discovery the, the 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 new IPA, the porter, the, the stout from England, from uh, Italy. Uh, and, uh, and I like that, but I want uh, 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 made a beer between English Thai and Belgian Thai. The, the Belgian guy likes uh, big bubbles, big sugar and big alcohol. But, and mm, I like uh, a little alcohol, uh, a little bubble, no, no, but I, I want a, a body in my beer. I made the between English style and Belgian style. Uh, my first beer was a no dry up beer. It's a very late pink. Look, it's multi first, very bitter, 
and fruity, but it's not really an IPA. And where do you hope to go from here? Uh, do you, I know COVID's uh, hurt you. How, how have you uh, responded to the COVID crisis? Sorry, I don't understand. In terms of the COVID-19 crisis, has uh. it affected you? The ah, yeah, yeah, because I, I, I don't want to uh, sell my beer in a big uh, uh, distribution. Yeah. And uh, with the, 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 the bar is closed, it's 80% uh, 80, 80, uh, of my uh, business is out. So what are you no. doing? Uh, yeah. Web shop and uh, takeaway and delivery. And that's helping you? Has the government help? But the government, uh, it's a little help uh, just for... Yeah. Just not, not, not die. So what do you hope to do? Are you going to survive? Yeah, I, we because I, I I survived because I was a little and I don't have a worker. Yeah, so you don't have a big overhead. Yeah, the big brewery is more more uh, affected. affected. Yeah, because the the, the 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 cost is very low here. Where do you hope to go from here? Do you want to remain the same size or grow a little bigger? I want a, a family uh, industry. The three or four persons, it's my climax. Yeah, and because you just want to keep brewing. Yeah. I want artisanal and, and made. Very. In my, the, the date on the bottle was uh, handmade. Uh, the the old the, the bottle was handmade. No no uh, stickers beer, no uh ambition beer. And do you team up with other brewers for little collabs or do you have any Ah, uh, yeah, I I would, I made a collab in Stumelings and uh, a long time ago with uh, Trou du Diable. Uh, I, uh, in Moudon Lambic, I, I, uh, I meet, you know, uh, met, met uh, many brewers, uh, uh, Montsalève, uh, uh, Trou du Diable, and uh, I, was ma I, I made a, a, a beer with Carlos from, uh, from Alessa Golon. It's a, a little, little brewery in uh, Spain, and we made uh, a very simple beer. Uh, the, the, my, the, we think the simple beer is just the school.